Um, oh, is this actually broadcasting? Can anyone let me know in the chat if they're actually seeing me live? Else I might have to reset this again and go and shout. Um, guys, can you let me know if this is actually live? It's not looking very good at the minute. <laughs> I don't want to do like 20 minutes of talking to nothing. So we will sit and wait and go, is it working just now? Oh, see if it isn't. I'm going to be so mad. Um, I'm still seeing no eyeballs. Let's try. Oh, Bridget. Okay, cool. Right. <laughs> So professional start to the stream. I'll just explain. Last week when I did this, I could see all your chat coming in, but there's a I have a little icon that says eyeballs that tells me how many people are watching. And it takes a little while to catch up. So mine was saying no eyeballs, but I saw Bridget was saying hello. And I'm like, is this working again? It's working. Sorry, off to a professional start. It's working. So today we should be doing the wings of our owl. I won't be, we're using this wonderful water soluble paper, but I won't be dissolving it today, mainly because it would take a while to dry anyway, but mainly because I'm super clumsy and to have a big thing of water wouldn't be good. But anyway, looking forward to getting onto this bit. I'm not sure how much we'll get done today. Maybe be able to move onto the feet. I'm not sure. I'm terrible with wire. That might be a disaster. Um, but <laughs> anyway, fingers crossed. I'll check the chat and then we'll get onto the wings. I'm excitedly nervous about this. Um, so Diana, hello again, owl makers. <laughs> and I'm on, thank you. Alicia's here. Shebeck, hello there. Um, and Alicia, they just got off their Zoom meeting. For anyone who doesn't know, the Makers um, gang, they also do a little live Zoom. So if you want to be able to chat to people and stuff, I never manage it on because I'm trying to get all, all this stuff sorted out. Oh, I do. I do have to do one little thing that that is awful. I just spotted it. Um, so, yes, this. Say bye bye to Anthony. Yeah, for those that don't know, I also work for E Rank and I live stream on their Facebook group. And so I put the branding of the E Rank branding, but this is not an E Rank live. I need to get my own little logo of me. Um, and Serena, hello there. Right, 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 right. I guess I'm nervous. I want to get on with this. So I have my instructions, and at the back of them is. Ooh, there we go, is my diagram for my wings. So we will, I have, there shouldn't be a robot echo. I've remembered this as well. Um, so this is the water soluble paper and it's just like a perfect fit for the size of the wings. It's, it's almost like they planned this and test their kit and everything. So I'm going to trace and hope my Sharpie doesn't actually um, let's just angle it slightly just to make sure top and bottom is okay. I hope my Sharpie doesn't dissolve. I didn't just sniff the pen. Um, I hope the Sharpie doesn't dissolve the paper. Um, well, it's an alcohol. Sharpie's alcohol? Doesn't seem to be anyway. So, And yes, I've got a purple pen, so that will look terrible in the finished project. But yeah, whatever. Um, so I'm just going to... It will go through onto the paper, but that doesn't matter. We'll have purple doodles on this. So just tracing what they've given us here. Really nice diagram for our wings. Uh, even writing on them left and right, because I am that idiot. And I'm managing not to get my head too much in shot. Wonderful. So we've got little, there's loads of detail. I kind of was reading ahead a little bit. There's loads of detail on this. Um, I don't want to draw in too much, just a little impression of what we have to do because this is a purple pen and it might show up in the final piece. I should have planned better. But there we go. One wing. Um, and let's try and fit. It's probably dry enough. Um, the right wing. I will put a L on there and then rough on here. Just in case.
And this is cool because we've even got the different colours to show where the front of the wing is and where the back of the wing is and everything. I will forget, but it is awesome anyway just to have it. So it's like a proper wee pattern. Look at me all concentrating. And I've seen some of what you've made already and it is awesome. I hope I can get anywhere near as good as that today. But yeah, we'll definitely do the wings. But we, when I say we, I mean me, won't wet them yet because it'll take forever to dry. And if I have water with all this technological stuff and my level of clumsy, it will go everywhere. So there is a pair of wings um, just to, it does tell us, I read ahead, it does tell us we can cut them to make it easier on ourselves. Um, and I believe, let's get back to the directions we're supposed to be at. Um, okay, so we're starting with the left wing. So the right wing can go over there. I remembered to bring along a really big, felting cushion so I've got good surface and yeah we can <laughs> get to work um so lay the wing on the mat done that um start at the bottom it's in three sections I can see that lay a pinch of gray inside curve of the wing at the back edge that is the back edge i am sure uh, left wing back edge yes um yep so we're going to just go in up there it does say further ahead to keep everything moving in the direction of the feathers so we're putting everything in pointing this way let's get a nice needle and i want to follow the lines that i've drawn so that's going to become a nice Firmly felted edge. So I felted it down along the line and I'm just folding it back so we're going to get a nice niceness, hopefully. Um, so I'll just felt that in for a minute. Um, sorry, I'm trying to read the chat. Um, Bridget used a Sharpie and it was okay as well. Oh, Alicia, yeah, the owl kit. Um, finishes tonight um if you want to get the maker's monthly box the owl will be tonight um closes tonight and then what is it next week i should know i did did um say well i'm not sure because i also have the cat that i haven't done and the badger that i haven't finished um erica hello there great to see you um Alicia, yeah, the water-soluble paper is great for a lot of things. It is indeed. I just put up a short on my YouTube channel last week, I think, of the making the butterfly. I think that was one of the very first things I did with the maker's kits was um, to make a butterfly using the water-soluble paper and everything. That was so much fun to make. Um, so I have a full video on it remember and lift the paper someone remind me if I forget I have a full length video on it but I thought that would be a fun short as well because it's so cool when you put it in the water and it just goes where did my paper go um but yes it's really cool stuff um okay as you felt work from one side only don't flip it over okay thank you uh, mix some beige and brown together to cover the main part of that bottom third. Um, okay, so I think it's kind of up to around about here. A little mix, and then we're going to add a little white, but I'll come... It will come to that and we want these to overlap slightly. I've messed that up in the past because if you just try and follow the lines, then you'll have gaps when the paper goes away. So you don't want to do that. <laughs> okay. 
I'm just trying to see where my lines are and fill in up to the lines. And it does say, um, mix a little white. Yes, mix a little white with this mix. Here's some white um, for the bit that goes further up. I think I'm right. <laughs> Someone yell at me if I'm doing it wrong. Um, yes, Diana, yes, doing the two wings together makes it easier for them to match. That is a good idea, actually. Thank you. <laughs> um, so let's try that. Um, so, well, let's. So that would mean, where did I put the grey? Mine won't match. I'm well aware mine will not match, but they'll hopefully get kind of close to matching. But yeah, that was that was a good idea. But still, yell at me if I'm doing stuff wrong, people, because it's a high possibility. Right. So trying to get that. I mean, they're not going to totally match. Let, let's go for sisters. Sisters, not twins. Okay, and then one needs a little bit more of that beige and brown there. <laughs> um, Diana, next month's the sheep. Of course it is. I saw pictures of the sheep. Yes, I forgot. Um, uh, Alicia saying little sheep and lamb. Oh, lovely. Um, Bridget saying I'm clumsy and dripped onto my paper and... But, oh, and burnt holes. But I was trying to figure out what that was. Yes, you've dripped onto the paint. I can see that would be super easy to do, especially if I had any water about. So apart from my juice, <laughs> I could drop a little bit of that. In fact, I'm really surprised that I haven't destroyed this water paper already. But anyway, and again, trying to lay it in the direction... so that it looks looks like feathers i know there's a lot more <clears throat> a lot more detail to come um and yes it does does say make a little bit of this as white to go at the top okay i see i see i see said the blind man i'll make a good bit more for both um Alicia, valet's sheep and lamb. Um, oh, yeah, cool. Yes, I made... Um, years ago, someone asked me to make a valet's black-nosed sheep, and I did, like, mine are, like, this this size. Um, so I... <laughs> so I've been making them for a few years. That's... Yes, the valet's black-nosed sheep was where I first figure out, figured out how to make my own curls because they're curly, they look like toy sheep. They're the most gorgeous things in the world. But the the stuff I was buying was just not good enough. Um, but I had all this lovely bright white top, so I figured out how to make curls. Um, and I've been making them. They were so popular for a few years. Um, but nobody's wanted one for a, few, for a couple of years now my poor me poor gorgeous sheep <laughs> right so it's the lighter mix goes up to here as far as the picture's showing and sort of covers a little bit here as well but again if I'm if I'm wrong, it won't matter so much because the other one's going to be similar. <laughs> that's that's my theory and I'm sticking to it. And then I'll just lay these out and get it felted and get back into the chat. Yeah, but yes. So if you sign up for the Maker's Monthly Subscription Box before tonight, then you'll get the owl. You'll get the owl and then you'll get 
the sheep because it's a monthly subscription book but you can cancel at any time um but if you wait till tomorrow then you'll get the the sheep and lamb which are going to be adorable i've only seen sort of little sneak peeks of these i don't think i've seen the full pictures yet but Valet's black nose sheep are adorable, and this is probably going to be in about twice the size that <laughs> that I make them in, so that'll be fun. Um, <laughs> Erica, right on the back, which wing is the right and which wing is the left? Well, I've put them left <laughs> and right. <laughs> so hopefully that, that helps as well. But uh, yeah, I'm going to mess it up. I'm going to forget. It won't matter. Just trying to get this felted a bit. Um, Diana, this is an unusual video. Pam's working on a felting mat. I know. I should use actually a few more needles to do this. Else we'll be here forever. Um, but yes, it's... <laughs> <laughs> it's totally unusual for me to be working on a mat, but if you're doing flat work, it does it does need need doing. Um, and also remember, anyone who hasn't done this and isn't in the Zoom isn't in the Zoom getting all the tips and everything, because this paper is water soluble and it will disappear away to nothing. You do have to make sure that your your wings are felted because. At the minute they're holding on the paper but if i dissolved the paper at this stage then the wings would fall apart because they're not felted enough so you've got to you've got to give it a good go at the felting a good go at the felting that just yeah super good english there pam um. Oh, and we've got some more detail work coming up. <laughs> I'm nervous for this. So you're probably going to see a lot of like my head in frame as I hunch over this going, what am I doing next? Oh, and I didn't put my ticker up to annoy you all. Um, yeah, what what's our like goal for this for this video, people? <laughs> because oddly enough, it's super working. My last two owl lives have had number one and number two of the highest ever likes. So <laughs> don't forget and like this video and see if we can have the owl being the number one liked videos of of my all time. I think that would be kind of fun. Um, all right. We'll felt more in a minute, but okay. Um, oh, no, right. We're working down here again. Um, I see. I see. So <laughs> I can't see where my lines are. One tip I did get ages ago. See if when you're doing the butterfly, I'm going to pass this on now. If you're ever doing the butterfly kit, um, the the girls did get in touch with me after I'd done it. I don't think I'd even ever spoken to them before this point, and I was doing it. And they said to me, what you can do is trace the butterfly twice and then felt the sort of the simple shape and then put the tracing on top to get the more detailed lines rather than what I did, which is a very, very awkward way to do it. Um, okay, but... but, 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 but right. Ugh. So we've got to you know, add more detailed markings, take a fine wisp of grey, um, starts way up at the wing, but we're not doing it there, we're doing it from here. Um, I'm just, I'm just going to copy what I'm seeing, that's probably easier. So it starts at the back end goes out and flicks up and fades off <laughs> and we do that a few times so bit of grey twist it a bit make three or four lines to make individual feathers gotcha and they bend up to sort of the same 
points as I'm seeing in the picture. And I think, yeah, we're only going to get three lines in just because I'm not going too detailed. There we go. Um, Ginger, hello there. Um, good morning, fighting with my phone. Oh no, your English is better than my American. Um, um, and yeah, Alicia will go over and use the multi tool to make sure they're at, make sure everything's affixed. Yes, it would be horrible to do all this work, but not do it enough and then everything to fall apart. So really make sure and spend a bit of time on this. Right. Sisters, not twins, but let's try and kind of make this about the same. So you were just about there. A little bit. Comes out a little bit. Flicks up a little bit. This is technical. It's about there and a little bit. Yep. But it's kind of similar. Uh, Gwen, so pretty. I want to eventually make a small barn owl. Oh, you totally have to. Yeah. Um, the, the owls are owls are super gorgeous and. I think this would be good. You could follow this along at a smaller size as well. Um, I'm usually tempted to do that. I probably should have done, but there's so many sort of methods that I've not used before. So I just wanted to follow it along as it's as it's written rather than going off piste for a while. Um, Gwen, I know it's been a while since I've been in the street. Well, we are everybody's pleased to see you here it's good good to see good to see new faces but it's also good to see some of our friends back again um i i don't expect everyone here every sunday for sure but it's nice when you can make it and i love that you're coming off a sun like the zoom so it's it's a sunday of of craftiness <laughs> it's cool um Erica, have I, have I been making other things during the week? Yep, I have indeed. I am close to being caught up in my shop without orders, although I have a few people to email back. But right, let's, let's see what I've been making because I've got to photograph them. Well, first of all, if you didn't see my video this week on increasing sales, in November I worked on a new strategy and it boosted my cat bookmarks. So more cat bookmarks I've had to make. But I've also made this chunky boy. Um, whoop, really love his different textures of fur. And then he kind of has a baldy tail, a bit like a Spanish water spaniel. And he specifically has three white paws. <laughs> and then from one extreme, this chunky boy and then this little delicate boy. It's so hard to do like whippets and greyhounds in the tiny. I prefer the next size up for them, but I think I did okay with this one. It's, it's not bad. That's my week. What have you guys been making? Let me know in the comments. Apart from owls, for those of you that have, that have had an owly week. Uh, Gwen hasn't been needle felting and out of course. I need to order some online. Yeah, my postman must hate me. I order core in multiple kilo, multiple kilos at once. So I've got giant bags. And then, yeah, especially at Christmas time, I usually try and make sure that I've always got about five or six kilos sort of spare um so once i get down to the once i get down to the last five kilos i order some more <laughs> um alicia sounds like my preacher when i was a kid at church oh wow um uh, gwen sometimes i try and join and something happens oh i have to leave before commenting oh <laughs> well 
it was nice that you managed to come and chat. Um, I so want to make the butterfly. Yeah, me too. Um, I really enjoyed that. It was, I was ordering different kits from different places online and stuff. And I'd seen people making the butterflies and I was like, I really want to make that. And I think it was, the, I don't even know if they do it anymore, but it was like a 2D starter kit and it had lots of different things. And one of the projects was the butterfly. And I was like, I have to make the butterfly. It was really so much fun and came out so good, which is why the next project, because there was enough stuff left over. So the next project, I made my tiny little fairy wings, which were similar, but it was fun. Um, I might do the same thing for a dragon wing sometimes. It was fun to leave kind of little holes in it, deliberate little holes. Um, you could do that really easily with the paper as well. Um, so... You know, the ratty look sometimes of fairy wings. Um, so that was so much fun. Um, and yeah, totally. I've got to do some dragon wings with some of this, some of this paper. Pam, remember and lift. <laughs> so, <coughs> excuse me. If you're using any kind of felting surface, remember and lift your piece off, else it will get firmly embedded into whatever you're using. Um Okay, what do we do next? Um, mix a little black with grey. A couple of similar... Oh, we're... Right. Comprende. I understand. The, um, we're making the bigger feathers. Right, so I will mix this while I check the chat. Probably poke my... Oh, that's, that's how far I go from my nose. Um... Ginger, I've been trying to make a hat for myself in tapestry crochet. The first would hit a would fit a twenty inch head. The second was great until I realised I was still too small. You need twenty three. Ah, oh. <laughs> much frogging. I assume assume that's a crochet term. Much silent cursing. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, that's crazy. Um, my mum always says, sorry, mum, but whenever I she wants to knit a hat for me, she has, I do have a giant head. We're not going to lie. I have a giant head, but she knits things that literally are like sacks on my head. <laughs> Could you not have just asked for measurements? <laughs> um, uh, what do we want? A couple, a couple of these longer lines. So I'm twisting and pulling to make a longer kind of strand. I'll try, oh, that's about right. I'll try and do a couple of these for each wing. Uh, they're not perfect, but they're not bad. Um, Alicia, doing a magic dragon in March. Oh, fantastic. Maybe I should make make March a dragon month or something. That sounds sounds good to me. Because I've been wanting to make different dragons, um, different styles of dragons, like cutesy, you know, little ones, big ones, all sorts. I know I, I did. But, well, he is still there, but he's just off screen just now. Um, I did make my full on big old whole articulated dragon but I want to make some little fun ones too um why did I do that one so much shorter I don't know I had an idea on my head that I didn't need the second one so long I was incorrect um but we'll work with what we've got so I'm just doing the same but longer up the wing Look at me concentrating. I'm going all quiet again. Uh, there we go. Um, oh, it's kind of working. I, I always sound so surprised. Of course it's working. The kits are good. The directions are good. I just don't trust myself. I'm always sure that I'm going to mess these up. And then I feel bad about it. <laughs> because, like, it's live on air. But... So far, 
so far so good. Um, so what my littler one. They're tangling up in each other. Behave. There you go. And the last one. And then I'll felt it in a bit more secure. The good thing is while you're doing all the details is you are going over and over the wing to hopefully stabilize it, make sure it's, it's strong enough that it won't fall magically fall apart in the water that would be a bit of magic that you don't want um oh go ahead what's the name of your shop i was looking but couldn't find the link there should be a link on my youtube channel on the main page but it's ben mcfuzzy lugs that was the that's my dog's name or was my dog's name um but but I thought it also worked really well for needle felted critters. So Ben McFuzzy Lugs or one word. <laughs> yeah. But but yeah, I don't I'd kind of start because people said to do these things to sort of you know advertise your shop. There's they say make a Facebook group, do this, do that to advertise your shop. But I don't really do YouTube to make sales of stuff. I am thinking, <laughs> strangely enough, actually, I'm thinking because I do have a lot. Of, some of the things when I'm doing like big tutorials, which I want to do, if I can quieten down my shop this year, which sounds really weird. If I can quieten down my shop, I want to make some more big tutorials. And I might kind of do just uh, when I've done it, just be like, I'm putting it up on eBay for a week, whatever it sells for, <laughs> it sells for. I don't want to like go to the trouble of putting it on Etsy or anything, but I might start doing that and sort of plug that. But it literally, you know, it'll be put it up for whatever the lowest listing price is and if it goes it goes um because i have found other needle filters let me know i've found over the years that i'm not very good at selling the ready-made stuff I, people want stuff that's made just for them which i totally understand so i haven't really in my shop i don't really have any ready-made stuff so that's that's why I've never really had the time to be making stuff for videos um, because everything's being one of a kind for a customer. But yeah, that's that's an idea I have. Start to see what eBay's like again. I've not used that to sell in years. Okay, two two wings working a bit better. Um. Okay, this is where it gets complicated. So we've done all the feathery wing bits. Near the corner of each right angled, um, this, take a dot of the whites. Okay, I think you mean kind of just here? Yes. Just a little smidge. Oops, a little less of a smidge. Concentrating again. Um, oh, hang on, I've got to read the whole thing. Take a tiny wisp and roll it a tall oval shape. Ah, I'm close enough. Right, I didn't, I didn't read, but I'm close enough just by accident. And then we're going to do a tiny, tiny bit of black there as well. Oh, paying attention. <laughs> I don't want to mess this up. Um, but I know I've seen so many people are posting up what they've done and it all looks awesome. So I trust the process. I just don't trust me. But yeah. It's got, I love all the detail. Um, Sophie and Steffi must just like totally sit and 
when they start on these things, just be sitting like looking at barn owls for a week or something. What are all these little details and everything? And then work on how they're going to make it and what materials and everything. It's super cool. Because, yeah, that's probably way more detail than I would have done at this stage. Looks cool. Um... Serena, I've been so busy this month, thought it would be slow with being straight after Christmas. Yeah, well, I think um, certainly for the UK, we're, we're not going to get out to normal shops till coming up to Easter, probably. So people are shopping online still. Um, I'm actually waiting on a delivery from Amazon just now. Um, Centre of each oval for a little bit of black. Um you get, you're going to laugh at me, probably. Um, I have been doing my food shopping online and came up, um, there was a box of marmalade oranges and it didn't occur to me. I thought, I know what marmalade is, but I thought it was like also a place or something. I didn't think, you know, if you buy cooking apples, they're apples for cooking. It didn't occur to me marmalade oranges would be oranges for making marmalade. <laughs> I thought it was like Seville oranges or something. It was just a place. But now I've got a big box of oranges for making marmalade with. So I've had to order the rest of the supplies off of Amazon so I can actually make some marmalade. So that's going to be my plan when that comes. But no doubt, no doubt the Amazon guy will come while I'm on the live stream because I've been sitting around waiting for him all day. So that's how these things happen. <laughs> So if I suddenly run off, then that might be why. <laughs> yeah. um, yeah. Skywolf, hello there. Um, good to see you. Um, oh, Ginger, thanks for thanks for putting up the name of my shop. Yeah, I can't. Um, it's fuzzy lugs rather than legs. Um, so the the last bits. L-U-G-S, but the rest, that's right, Ben McFuzzy Lugs. <laughs> yes. And that's that's the name of my wee shop. Um, trying to look ahead and see what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, Alicia, thanks for the, li <laughs> the link. Thank you so much. Yes, I can't, my, my PC's way over there. Ah, I, can't, <laughs> I can't reach it because then it will show up too much in the in the overhead camera. It still shows up too much. I've got it like miles away. Um. <laughs> okay, these tiny little black bits on, but it does make a big difference to, to put all the little bits of detail. And again, if you're doing tiny dots, it's good to have stuff kind of a little more firmly in place before you do them because when you put in a tiny dot of something when you felt it it can totally vanish into your piece if it's not firm enough okay right reading ahead um the front edge there's a separate area fill this with gray kind of already did it with not gray <laughs> yeah kind how how important is that to be grey? Um, I'll I'll I will top it with a small amount of grey. There, that's <laughs> that's a compromise. Um, we'll shade it with some grey. That makes sense. I went a bit too far. Um, that's fine. A little bit of grey blending. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Ginger, that's my American ear for language. No problem at all. We, I think if you, if you've been in this channel for any length of time, you know that I pronounce things wrong. I'm famous for it. Um, Skywolf, I'll oh, finally join this Facebook group. Welcome aboard. You're Rosie, who posted the chick the other day. Oh, cool. I haven't looked in the group enough. This week has gone in a flash. Um, I do remember an awesome chicken. I don't remember if I commented on it in time, but I do remember an awesome chicken. Um, okay, so we're doing some white dots down this bit of the wing as well. Um, but yeah, sorry if I haven't commented on your on your posts in the group yet. 
I am so behind with every. I'm behind with living just now. <laughs> but I have seen stuff flash by on Facebook, and I'm like, oh, that's lovely. That's lovely. And I should actually post. So I will go back into the group and behave myself. <laughs> Um, yeah, there's four little dots in the picture, um, so four little dots on my owl. That's my heating kicked on now. When I was starting the stream, like, first world problems and everything, it was really freezing, so I put this on, which is a thermal top. Um, and now my heating's come on and I'm sweating. <laughs> um, oh, Ginger, awesome question. When I lift it, is the backside smooth or fuzzy? It will be a little fuzzy, um, if you can see that. Yeah, it's a little fuzzy. What I did with the butterfly when I was doing it before, before I melted the paper, I went over them a little bit. But that's going to be up against the body, so I don't. I, I will I will do whatever the makers tell me <laughs> to do. I have a feeling these I th I thought these wings might take a while, so we might we might be doing the feet next week. Um, that's been quite a project, hasn't it? Which is great. Um, I do love when when you've got time. It's so cool to have a project you can get your teeth into. Um, <laughs> the problem is when you've got time but yeah this is a nice one you could put that's going to be about four hours of me rushing through it so yeah it's sitting taking your time I would I would put aside like a good a good week of a couple hours in the evening time to time to put on something good on the telly if you can felt and look um but put on something on the telly and just enjoy making your owl. Because yeah. all of these are going to be, you know, they're little projects to learn, but they're also going to be things to treasure and put on your back shelf <laughs> and have an awesome area of creativity. Um Oh, Gwen, thank you. The wings are beautiful. Thank you. Well, I'm just doing what I'm told, but there is the detail is lovely. I would not have thought to do all of this. Um, I'm trying. It, the hardest thing just now is me trying to read the instructions and talk and try and get it right at the same time. I'm not the best at that so that's why sometimes I kind of skip bits or it's not quite perfect but it's doing okay it looks like wings anyway okay um so we've done all that middle third which is this bit use gray to cover the bottom half of the middle third um Right, yes, so. We're diving in grey for this bit and keeping felting in that direction. <laughs> and overlapping slightly so that it all holds onto each other as well. And put enough here. <laughs> I'm checking rather than stick my head right there, I'm looking at the overhead camera to see what it looks like. So I'm just, although we want to be felt in that way, I just want to do a little bit of sort of a line here to really show up the difference slightly of where oh it's supposed to be way further down than a, where the other wing is i'll do the same here and then wisp it up the way i 
and again just trying to remember and make it chunky enough that this because it's so easy to just put little wispies and it's going to fall apart <laughs> if I do that I've got to I've got to put chunky bits so it felts into something a bit more solid and then Alicia's going to come on and go no Pam you're totally wrong you should have read ahead and done that bit I would see if if you're ever doing any kind of kit I'm I'm awful especially like watching videos doing tutorials or anything I'll start watching things or I'll start reading them and I'll immediately dive in and make it before I've read it generally you want to read ahead or watch the whole thing you know what you need know what you're going to be doing don't just dive in but I'm awful um where did we get to um mix a little gray with beige and brown for the top part of the middle beige and brown and gray and a little white so it's got a wee blend going on um Gwen, can you get the paper from the local craft store or is it special or something? Um, I don't know. I, I think water-soluble papers are a sewing thing as well. Um, uh, Diana's covered it, yes. Sold for machine embroidery, uh, but the maker's one is very cool. Yeah, exactly. You can get it for the makers, but if you have an embroidery type shop, thing about you then it is likely that they will have something similar um, um oh alicia's agreeing with me <laughs> it's good you need to blend and layer um people have found they've done too little and it's super thin yeah we want a bit of a chunky boy so adding adding bits bits on um, I, I figured that because it's going to have to hold up by itself. Although another another tip I got from the makers with the water soluble paper, if you when you dunk it in the water, it does dissolve quite quickly. But if you don't dunk it for so long that it's all dissolved, if a little bit remains, then it dries. It's almost like a bit of a starch. So you could dry it in the position you want and it will kind of hold its position a bit, but you still have to make sure that you've got enough chunky and enough heft to it. Um, but there was there was a tip I got I got off of the makers, so <laughs> sharing with you there. Um, okay, so we're blending some of this blendy brownie grey whitey colour. <laughs> <laughs> it's the technical terms, brownie, grey, white, and keeping the fibres running in the direction of the feathers. Um, hopefully you can see something of the colour change there. <laughs> Trying to remember and get enough up at the top as well, so... There's stuff to overlap for the next layer. Um, <laughs> and I also have to remember and keep some so that I've got the same colour for each wing. Okay, and that's kind of cool shading. But yeah, definitely we're, we're not going to get the feet done today. <laughs> oh, I knew the wings were going to take some time because there's so much detail. Um, which is really cool. Oh, Gwen, gonna need to pick up some needles. My needles keep snapping. Oh no! Hopefully, you can you can get some. Um, I've not really found much difference in the quality of the needles. The snapping is. It does seem to be more of a technique. You've just got it's holding the needle quite lightly. I think, I think touch wood, I'm going to break a needle now. But I think it's because I felt in my hand so much that I don't force the needle because then I would start hurting myself. So because I'm felting really lightly, and also you don't you don't put the needle into the surface and then bend it. That's that's where most of them snap. Um. So hopefully the the more you felt the the less they they break hopefully um, 
see look at me remembering and <laughs> lift it off um and yeah but um alicia's favorite needle is the 40 twisted which was that gonna show up probably not Ooh, where's the camera gone which is exactly what i'm using just now <laughs> you can see the twisted the twistedness of the needle um yes i do because i tend to work in smaller sizes most of the time i do spend a lot more time just with a single needle and do I have to do anything more to this? Okay, and then the top of this is the same. Oh, I've got to cover a bit more. The top of this is the same. It's a grey blend and then it, it's a grey and then work on a blend afterwards. So I will quickly do that and then we will be able to get on with firming it up and seeing what other details there are. Um, yeah. Oh, Alicia, Pam, make sure you have pliers for the wing. Um, oh, pliers. For, well, I do. I do have. Look, look, look. What I remembered. Um, I've got my little pliers and snips. Um, do you have the one millimeter or the five millimeter wire? I don't know. Um, oh, oh, that is bendable. Um, one millimeter or the one point five. I think that would be one one millimeter. It seems nice. There was something. There was something stuck in the top of the box that I read in the first. <laughs> <laughs> in the first live if you anyone wants to go back and look at that um oh for the feet that's okay <laughs> right yes i have wire i have pliers for the feet yes i've had them i brought them up two weeks ago two, no last week because i i realized i was going to need them so yes i i am <laughs> i am ready for that stage <sighs> ah I get a fluff up my nose Yeah. Oh no, Gwen, your five-year-old's broken quite a few of your needles off the felting block. Yeah, that's the biggest way that I break them. As as you can see, sometimes I, I before I had the needle holders, I used to store my needles in the felting blocks like this, and it's so easy to just run your hand past them and just break them off. Um Um, Alicia's saying the one millimeter is not too hard. The one and a half is really tough. I think it's the one mil. I, I can find out because I don't know if the camera was live last week when we did this, um, but the makers kindly sent me out a sample pack of all the wires, which I will have to do a proper review of. But that, um, nope, it's bigger. It's weirder than that. So I've got a sample pack of all the wires, so I should hopefully be able to compare. Okay, it's a cotton covered one, so I can put the non-cotton covered. You're too, you're a chunky boy. So that's the one mil. Um, oh, hang on, we've got steel and copper. Is it copper or steel, Alicia? <laughs> Um, so that's half. Oh, that's like that would be good, probably for whiskers or something, but it's not firm enough. Um, so steel wire at one mil. Oh, that's not steel, is it? It's copper because that's really firm. Wow. Okay, <laughs> steel's firmer than copper. As a chemist, I should actually know that. Um, copper, so this is the one mil copper. Yep. Um, yeah, it's one, one mil, I think. Um, yes, I think so. Feels about the same. <laughs> so yeah, that's that seems a nice one mil copper covered copper, cotton work. 
words. <laughs> but yeah, that seems nice. I'm very fussy about wire. Um, yes, it's copper. Um, oh, Erica, you have to go. Good to see you. You have a good week and thank you so much for joining us. Um, yeah, Bridget, there's a sticker in my box which says one mil, not 1.5. Yeah, I had a sticker, so I think I'm one mil, definitely. Um, yes. But yeah, anyone else who's fussy about the wire, the makers do do a sample pack. I didn't realise I was whinging about I was whinging about wires and not being able to find the right one, and they sent me a sample pack. So thank you so much. I didn't. I, I was going to say that you should do a sample pack, and then I discovered that you do do a sample pack. Super helpful. See if you're starting any kind of craft. It's handy to be able to get like samples, samples of colours, samples of materials really helps a lot um okay so i'm making a blendy blendy again for the top oh excuse me right so while i'm having a blending break um we're only at 18 thumbs up this is so childish if you haven't i would love it if you could give me a thumbs up um i'm not sure what it does for the algorithm for youtube but it can't hurt. So if you give us a thumbs up, I think we had like 45 thumbs up last week, which was amazing. And 50 or something the week before. Totally amazing. Right. Okay. So we've got to add the next colour. So it was grey down the bottom and then a, a blend of the beige, brown and white, just the same as what we did there. So it gives it overlapping wing kind of effect with the whole really cool blendiness um obviously spend more time in this um especially all of it but especially the wings spend a lot of time because they're going to be so obvious on the piece but also like we said They've got to come off of the <laughs> they've got to come off of the water soluble paper. So you've got to make sure that they're nice, nice and solid wings. And that's um to get the edges neat if it hasn't been clear what I'm doing, you find where your your line that you've drawn in and felt right along the line and then fold back the fibers. Um, and you can add more make sure it's a nice solid neat line because if it looks fuzzy then now it's going to look fuzzy when you wet it down here we go i'm just going to read ahead while i felt this i'm intrigued to know what i've got what else i've got to do oh there's oh there's a lot more decoration on this i did not realize that um so we're still yeah definitely not going to get onto the feet today but that's cool i love I do love how much effort there is into making these wings look good. That's too much grey. You go away. Um, Gwen's going to go and get lunch started. Sounds good. Um, oh, wow. You're in the US and you eat around 11 and it's almost that time now. Wow. Okay. That, that would be brunch for me. That would... To be honest, that would still be breakfast for me. <laughs> Brunch is about three o'clock in the afternoon. I am terrible at eating early in the day. I much prefer to eat all night long. Um, but you have a great lunch. Thank you so much for joining me. That's been been cool to see you. Or yeah, I see. I must not hear from you. It's been cool to see you. So yeah. Okay, just gonna firm this up give it a quick go over with a multi-tool uh, because there's three needles in this so it does three times the job of one needle just now oh yeah we still got we still haven't colored the tail of the owl yet so much still to do this is like a massive project loving it <sighs> sorry if there's a 
glitch there. My computer just um, decided to do a virus scan. <laughs> Did I ask it to do that? Don't think so. Okay, that will do for just now. Um... Sorry, reading ahead. Okay, um, did I miss something? Because I'm just, I'm looking and there's nice lines here, which we did draw in, we just haven't coloured them. Um, so I think I will add them here. Yes, it doesn't tell us to but they are there um so i'm going to mix up some more black and gray and do that and then we've got the dots to do and then that's the wings sorted but yeah i've got to got to do that so i'm mixing some gray and black like we did there and then i'm just going to make the markings on the further bits of the wings i am Oh, Gwen, you got up at 6.30 this morning. Wow, that's that's inhuman. 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 Yes, nobody should be getting up at that time. That's, that's horrific. <laughs> um, uh, Misty, hello. Welcome to the chat. Um, I have a question. If I want to do a dog head with fur on top, which is something I can hang up, on the wall, how long will something like that take? About 15 to centimeter, 15 by 20 centimeters, which is it's a chunky thing. Um, is felting a fast medium? No, <laughs> um, no, felting isn't fast. Um, something well, I will show you this little dog took me about three hours. You could probably do something this size without felting it very firmly in about an hour. Um, and the bigger the bigger you go, kind of the longer it takes. Well, this this guy with with his where we're at, <laughs> the owl and he, well, that looks weird. The owl and these two wings, this is taking three hours to get to this stage. And if you're doing long hair on something, it needs to be felted a little longer, so um, firmer. So I would say um, something that size, maybe about 10 hours or so. Um, definitely it's not a quick project, but it it will be a unique one of the one of a kind thing and i think it would be awesome um but definitely not quick um alicia you can go crazy if you look at actual owl wings absolutely um yes do do as much detail as you want but i, I want to try and make it good <laughs> um We're just adding some more feathers here because they were in the template that I drew and it is there in the picture. So I'm adding them because I want to. Yeah, even they, they don't, because it's a blend of the greys and it's going on grey, they don't like show up crazily which i'm happy with it's just a sort of suggestion which is really cool i think yeah i think that makes a difference that works for me anyway you guys um stop wherever you want and do as much detail as you want and look at pictures of barn owls <laughs> um Oh, Alicia, that's Pam doing it in three hours. Oh, um, it would take you six hours and look. I, I bet it would look great. And honest, everybody has their own speed. I mean, when I started, a dog that size would have taken me about an hour, and it would have looked. It was soft and fluffy and not very great. Um, but <laughs> now it takes me three times as long. But hopefully, it looks better. Um, but very, very much, I would love to see your, your dog's head sculpture. That sounds so cool. But 
really, 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 anyone who's going to do anything with long hair on the animals, even, well, even this isn't, well, it's, it's long hair on the face. You have to make sure that the base that you felt in it, the, the head that you've already made, has to be as firm as you can manage. You're talking, someone said tennis ball firm. I think that's, that's a good way of thinking of it. But um, whatever... Whatever you've done, whatever you're you're thinking about, felt some more. Don't don't stop. Keep felting. Um, a good good tip that I did like when I was just starting out was I got two similar sized bits of felt, two similar sized bits of fleece rather, and I felted them into a ball. Both of them into a ball at about the sort of firmness that I felt happy with and then I took one of the bits one of the balls and I sat I put a film on the tally and I just sat and stabbed it for the duration of the film just to see the total difference of like adding another couple of hours felting made you know to the size of it and what it looked like and it was amazing yeah <laughs> so yeah it, it's really cool to do that just to see what how much more things can compact, how much smoother they look. Like some of these these really good artists doing, doing the cartoony stuff, they must have felt for hours to get this kind of cartoony look with the felt that they're doing. It's so awesome. I went off on a random ramble there. Um... Oh, Misty, you are most welcome. Um, but I totally, if you do make it, let us let us see it. Absolutely, be excited to see that. Um, Bridget saying you're a slow felter too. Oh, I bet you're not. And it's what, what's the what's the hurry? <laughs> <laughs> We're not in a rush to make these things. They take as long as they take. Okay, those wings are not identical in any way, but it's cool because it's a big owl, so you'll only see one side at once. Um, so what do we want? Two rows of white dots along the top of the wing. Um, yeah, and that's us. Woo! <laughs> Um, <laughs> Ginger, so far you've been good luck for my hat. It's <laughs> expanding out to 23 inches and still keeping the same pattern. <laughs> awesome. I'm glad, glad to help. <laughs> but yeah, I, I love it. There's, who else is crafting right now? <laughs> um, if you can't type, hit the thumbs up. Um, but yeah, let me know if you're crafting right now, creating a little something, what you're working on. It doesn't have to be felting, as we see gingers, gingers crocheting. Um, everyone's doing something a little bit different, but it's cool to have just a little crafty, crafty Sunday afternoon. And I think when I finish this, I am going to go over this. Before. I will melt it in water before next week. Um, and I will go over it a little bit more, make sure it's super firm. But I won't change. It's still going to be what it is here. Um, so, so you've seen me make the whole thing, but <laughs> um, I can't, I don't want to. I don't want to like take up an extra hour of your time just going over and firming this up. I would have never even spotted these kind of spots. You see what I did there? I would have never spotted these spots on the owl's back. And what I've loved when I'm seeing what everyone else is doing, everyone is interpreted in this slightly differently. So somebody's spots are like bigger than others, so they're more more noticeable. Um and some are more subtle, so it's really cool just to see the difference because every owl's going to be different, I'm pretty sure of that. Um, Alicia's doing doing the wings too. Um, 
Diana's on the owl's back, Helen's on the wings. Cool. So we're mainly in a similar spot. I did the back last week. I would have liked to spend more time on it, but it was cool. Um, and yep, Alicia, you're right. Um, don't forget to post in everyone's a makers group because this is not my kit or my tutorial or anything like that. Um, I just, I just like these as well. So every month I'm, I get the the monthly makers box and we work through them. But the ladies at the makers are the ones that come up with these brilliant tutorials. Um, so they they like to see them too. Tis only fair. Yeah, but this year I will try and try and get some more tutorials in. I did I said that last year and I didn't manage, but this time last year we didn't really know what last year was going to be all about. I think we hopefully have a better idea of what this year is going to be all about. And I hope everyone's doing okay as well. I know it's been it's been crazy, but thankfully, needle felting we can totally do without going outside. So we can save the world by needle felting. <laughs> And especially um, if you have the makers YouTube, the makers on YouTube or on Facebook, they've been doing loads of live streams to keep people crafty, doing your Zoom meetings and everything to just um, keep people in touch with each other kind of thing, which is really cool. Just have someone, someone to speak to, especially that knows about needle felting, because probably, as I say, like half my friends used to think I was, bonkers like no one had heard of it but now like loads of my friends are looking for looking to start it and I've made like little starter kits for so many of my friends out of bits and pieces I've got lying about the place because I've always got an excess of needles and fiber and stuff so um, I have to say the the makers well it's not even a bad thing because it's good good advertising for you um the, the maker's boxes, I recycle the box into little little boxes to give away to my friends <laughs> and just kind of stuff them with with stuff that I'm not going to use. Because I'm sure once you've been felting for a while, you've got so much extra. <laughs> and obviously, as I mainly use, as I mainly make dogs, I mainly only have sort of natural colours. Um, but so all the all the crazy ones. Although I keep I, I keep a rainbow of colours, but if there's any extra, it's not something I'll use much of. So it's cool to just be able to pass some away. I, um, Mum at Christmas had bought the Maker's Felted Foods book, um, so I I made her made her up a little kit. So hopefully, a little little load of colours and things. So hopefully she's. She's got started with that too. Um, <laughs> Susan felting a mouse, maybe a barn owl treat. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure the barn owl will appreciate it. Yeah, mices are such fun to make. I think so many people start with needle felted mices. <laughs> they are cool. And well, not easy to make. There's a lot of detail. I've kept meaning to. Two years ago, Tesco started doing these mice decoration needle felted mice decorations they're not need they're not they're awful and i kept many like i did just before christmas i did the deer just made a recreation of that and i keep meaning to do that mouse because it'll be super easy and okay it'll probably cost more in materials than the two pounds the mouse was but yeah I don't even want to know the conditions of whoever was making that wherever they were making it or whatever it is. Um, <laughs> Alicia, I've posted my hilarious looking wings on your Facebook group. They're really terrible right now. Oh, no. OK, everyone's going to have to join Pam Duffy's Crafty Friends. It's not Crafty Clan because Facebook won't change the name. Not that I'm mad about that. Um, but <laughs> um, yeah, so you've got to join and you can go and have a look at Alicia's terrible wings that I'm sure are not terrible at all. And if they are, it's just because you've not finished them yet. Um, 
because it always it always comes together in the end trust you should trust the makers more than the rest of us because you are the makers <laughs> but yes they'll come together and they'll look awesome Oops, too little. Especially when you're doing these little dots, remember and lift your piece so it doesn't get totally stuck on whatever mat you're using. Um, Bridget's never made a mouse. You rebel, how can you not have made a mouse? <laughs> no, I know I resisted for so long. What actually with me, I think the first mouse I did, Everyone had gone on about Serafina. Um, I think she's changed her YouTube name to Sarah, well, to her actual name, which is Sarah. Um, and everyone was on about how great her tutorials were. And they, they are. Um, but I thought I'd watch one. And I was just sitting watching it. And it was making no sense. So I decided just to felt along in real time with her. <laughs> and it was a mouse. But... It's craziness. She just does these random shapes and goes, stick that on there and that on there. There you go, a mouse. And it's awesome. But what I don't personally like about it is because I've no idea how it comes together. So I couldn't say, OK, so now I've made a mouse. So I now know how to make a rat or an otter or something else. I'm just like, I don't, I don't understand how that came to be a mouse. <laughs> So her stuff's awesome, but I found if you want to make anything else the way she makes it, you just have to follow one of her tutorials. You can't go off piste <laughs> because you don't know what you're making. You, you don't know what the shape is until you've put it on. Um... <laughs> oh, Alicia decided to lay a base layer and not do any details till you'd finished it. So it looks like a big blob. Fair enough. Yeah, well, <laughs> well stop being hard on yourself then. Of course, it was going to look like a big blob to start with. Um, yeah, which is, as I say, that would be a super way to get the detailed. What I said at the start that the makers told me to do with the butterfly wings is if you got a little bit of extra of this paper, you could going to flip it so you can see it you could draw the shape for the blob felt the blob and then do it a second time put the paper on top and felt all the details where you'd be able to see them um, and that way you could have if you wanted a much more detailed one you could do it that way so that's that's a way to get it like super detailed but i like just being a bit wild with it <laughs> um because like all the details are a lot more subtle this way, I think. And then I'm just gonna felt it all over. Um, yeah, in fact, as I said, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna do that off camera. All I'm gonna do is literally go over this a couple of times just with a felting needle until I feel it's like nice and firm. Um, I might actually. I'm seeing when I hold that up. Can. Does any of the cameras show it? Yeah, this bit is a bit too not got enough on. So I'm going to cheat because the paper is going to vanish. So I'm going to felt to secure it <laughs> just to make it a little more firm without losing all the detail that I've already added. So I'm going to go over, make sure that this is like perfectly firm. Um, but yeah, check for nothing else looks too wispy but yeah there's a good way if you can see light through it then <laughs> it's not it's not felted enough um <laughs> diana perfect everything will be all right in the end and if it's not all right it's not the end a misquote from the best exotic marigold hotel i love it yeah that is that is the perfect for life, but definitely for needle felting. It's the perfect quote. Yeah. If you're not happy with it, it's done. Cool. Um, Alicia, fab movie. I've not watched it. I totally will have to. I do need a little bit more bulk there as well. Um... Right, guys, I will leave you <laughs> for just now. Thank you. Don't forget to thumbs up on the way out anyway. <laughs>
<laughs> See, I'm getting into this whole YouTuber type thing. We are at 28 thumbs up. Oh, and 28 people watching. Two people just ducked out when I when I was starting to say that was done. Um, yeah. But that's us done. Thank you so much. Next week we will be working on it. It is definitely shading his tail. I'm showing you like here. It's like here. We're shading his tail and then we've got his feet to do. I will find an extra pair of pliers, I think. And then that will be him done. But that's our first four week, actual four week project. So that was fab. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm being told I need to see I need to see the film. Oh, I will add it to the list. Um, saying me and my mum need to watch it together. Well, that won't be for a wee while because me mum's back. Well, back me mum's in her wee village in Scotland, and I'm also in Scotland, but a couple of hundred miles away. So <laughs> we can't do that. But everyone, you have an awesome, creative, and restful week, 